Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna introduce you to a platform called Medium. And Medium is an online publishing platform, meaning that anybody could jump on Medium and be a writer. So you could write articles about many, many things. It's an open platform for writers and for readers. Now, what's really unique about Medium is that it pays its writers with revenue share. So the same way that YouTube works, where on YouTube, when you watch a video, they will pay you if you join the partners program at some point. Medium does the exact same thing. You could join their partner program and they pay you based on how much people spend on your articles, how much time they spend on your articles. And Medium is completely free for writers, but for readers is actually not completely free. It's free right now as I'm recording this. You could read up to three articles per month. After that, you have to pay to join the subscription program on Medium to get unlimited access to everything that they have to offer. It's also designed like a social media platform. So you could actually follow your favorite writers. People could follow you if you write content on there. And just like any other social media platform, you could interact with posts. So you could access it at medium.com or the mobile app. In this video, I'll focus on the website here. And when you first jump in, it does ask you to create a profile up here. So I definitely recommend you create a profile, very straightforward, just put in your name and a bio and a profile picture and you're set to go. Now, to use it as a reader, it's really, really simple. Right here on the homepage, it will show you the most popular trending on Medium usually on top and then you have other articles that will show up over here and it's gonna show you people to follow. So if you click on anybody's page here, it will take you to their page and this is basically a profile page on Medium where you could go ahead and follow people, see how many followers they have, read about them here and then browse just like this different article. So this is a heading for one and then if you go and you wanna extend it all the way out, you could see that and here is how you would clap that's kind of like giving a thumbs up. And then here is how you could leave a comment, bookmark and share any article from any page, right? Okay, so really, really simple here. And then again, as a reader, if you decide to upgrade, it's just right over here. You just go ahead and press this. Again, if you haven't logged in, you, it makes you create an account at that point and then choose how much you want to pay. It's $5 a month. And they have topics that you could follow. As you can see, I followed a few different topics here. But over here, if you just wanna add more topics, I'll just press the plus sign. And they have a ton of different categories and topics here. And it will kind of give you a better experience on the homepage if you follow more topics here. So you could just press the plus sign. Just like that, you follow a different interest or topic to customize your homepage. Let's jump back here. And now let's look at Medium as a writer. Again, very, very easy to write. You just press your profile picture here and write a story and all your published stories will show up here on their stories. So I'm gonna go ahead and create write a story here. And just like any other platform, you type in your title, your title goes up here. And then underneath that, your text or your story as they call it, will go over here. And I have Grammarly installed here to make sure I spell things correctly and my grammar is all set. So I'll put a link to Grammarly here and it could be used as a plugin like I use it here. And it works inside of Medium or YouTube description, pretty much anything online that you type out. This will work just like this and catch your issues. So if I spell something wrong here and I click away, it will catch that and give you a correction here. And you could go ahead and select it to correct it just like that. Now, since we already write our articles for the website using this program, just Microsoft Word, what I really typically like to do is I like to select everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit and select all. And I'll go ahead and right click here and copy everything. And I usually just post it on Medium that way. So this way I could just come over here and then go ahead and delete that and press paste with matching style. And just like that, I get everything pasted over here. Now, sometimes with images, if you wanna add images, let me go back to the Word document if you're bringing things this way too. Let me just add the title here. 
With adding images, sometimes I'll go over here and copy. So you could press Command C or Control C and then come back here and I'm gonna press Enter and then Command V for pasting. So sometimes I just bring in pictures this way. I'll show you another option that you have. Let me press Enter here. There's this plus sign when you're on a blank line. If you press this, you could bring in pictures this way. You could also bring in videos. You could embed anything like a tweet or you could create these lines, these three dots here. Okay, to kind of create some separation. Okay, it's very, very useful. Let me go ahead and press delete. So that's when you're on a blank line, you get this option. And I'll show you for bringing a video. I'll go to one of my other videos here, press share, copy the link, and I'll come over here. And if I paste that link, it's going to let you paste this. And if I press enter, it's gonna embed it just like that from that URL. So that's really, really useful there. I'll go ahead and delete. With images and videos, you have a styling option too. So if you click it, you should add some alt text. So alt text is obviously good for people that are not visually looking at this page. And it's also good for SEO purposes for Google ranking. You could also change how this lays out. So if you wanna change the layout, like this where it wraps the text around you could do that too with images and videos again i would go through here and i would actually check any spelling issues i ha uh, i have now grammarly is going to take care of some of that for me so i'll go through make sure everything is set up correctly and finish adding and taking out any spaces and you have some styling options so if you select text that you wrote or you copied over you could make things bold italic you could embed a link which is really useful because for google a lot of times they will show things on medium over what's on your website just because medium has more authority on the web you could go ahead and change the text styling here. Now by default, when you create a post like this, what ends up happening is it's actually in draft mode. So this is right now, it says draft mode and your name. But to publish it, you just press publish up here. So let me go ahead and finish adding the few images I need to actually add and then actually stylize some of this a little bit differently and then I'll press publish. Okay, I finished editing here and let me just show you, you have these three dots here that give you some options that could come in handy like version history and there's tags and things like that that I haven't shown you and I'll show you in a second. And you have keyboard shortcuts here that is gonna be kind of handy if you want to figure out how to use keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna press X but they have a really nice video here explaining everything. So. Let's go ahead and press publish right on top here now. And I'm gonna say continue to publish and it's gonna ask me to join the partner program. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I won't do it right yet. And by default, it shows you a preview. This is sort of like a YouTube thumbnail if you ever published on YouTube before, but you could go ahead and change it. So what it shows as an image looks a little bit different. So I'll choose a different one. I don't believe you could create your own. It will just pick from the images if you have any images available there. And you could write tags. Now this is great for search and you can do up to five tags. So Zoom, video conferencing. So I'll add a few tags here, okay? And then the partner program again will show here, but I won't do it on this page. And you could schedule it for later too. So right now it's in draft mode. You could schedule for later or you could just go out and publish now. And just like that, your story will be publishing in a second. There you go. So now if you go to your profile page here, so let me show you, if you go to your stories tab, that takes you to your profile page, which actually looks like this here, and you have a draft. So I have a draft here, and your published stories are here. And if anybody responds to you, they'll show up over here. So I'll go ahead and click one of them, and that will bring me to my profile, which I showed you before. So here's one article. If, you, if I keep scrolling down, I should see the next article, okay? So that's how people will see your profile, but usually it will be collapsed like this here, but they could go ahead and interact with you, give you a applaud, leave you a comment, share your story here, bookmark it, or all these other options over here. You also have these options, like if you wanna delete a story or see the stats for a story to see how many people viewed it, you could do that over here. Now let's go ahead and join the partner program. All you have to do is press your profile icon and it's right over here actually. It says medium partner program, okay? And this is becoming a member 
to be a unlimited user as a reader. But as a writer, you could write as much as you want. So you could join the partner program. I'll go ahead and press that to show you what it looks like. It's really simple. It's gonna give you an agreement here, right? Where you could connect your bank account, choose which of your stories are part of the membership content and get paid monthly as members read your story. Okay, super simple. And they use Stripe as their bank. I already have a Stripe account here. It's a very popular program. And if you don't have a Stripe account, just create one there and it needs some tax info. I'll go ahead and skip that for now and I'm in. Now, anytime if I press my profile option, I could go to the partner program here and see more about what is set over here. And I'll need to, again, submit my tax documents and they have some FAQ here you could read about. Now, I just posted a new story and let me show you when you press publish, when you're in the program, it's gonna have this check mark right here, which you did not have before. Okay, so you could still add your tags, but make sure this is on so you're eligible to earn money. I'll type out my tags. And just like that, that story will be available to readers and you will start monetizing your profile here on Medium. Now, how much money can you actually make on Medium? I read a lot of articles on this and there are people that are making significant money on there, but the majority of people are not making anything substantial. About half the people are making a few cents or a few dollars a month, but only about 3% of people are making anything, anything significant. And a handful of people that I could see are making over $30,000 a month on there but it is more common to make that kind of money on YouTube than it is on Medium. But right now, this platform is getting over 200 million views a month. So it's definitely still a growing platform and I think it has a potential if you get in early where you could make money down the road, right? And you have a good chance of ranking your articles in Google too. So it's a good beneficial way of if you're already writing articles for other platforms or your website, to put it on Medium too, and you could always link to your website too, which helps your website. So I hope you found this platform useful as a reader and as a writer. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.